in the Naya Vaisasika system, in the Sankhya system, we have uh, the certain philosophical principles laid down to understand and define what matter was, Padartha, Dravya. Medicine had taken uh, great leaps and bounds in the early historical period. We have had the Charaka Sanghita as well as the Susrata Sanghita already composed. So, when we, when we come to the early medieval period, we do not really have too many innovations in the fields of medicine as such. But what we have is more and more additional work in the fields of matter, in the field of Dravya. Dravya which was a very important part of pharmaceuticals. They also were an important part of doing metallurgical works. There were in innumerable texts composed on this particular discipline that is Dravya Sangraha, Dravya Prakasha, you name it you have all the texts on Dravya. Now you, if you read those texts you will find that basically the ideas have been collated from the actual practitioners of different crafts, arts and artisanry. For example, we find that we look at the technological application of science in technology and the outputs of technology. Then early medieval period really witnessed a lot of development. We have the development in cosmetology, we have the development in wine distilling, distilling we have developments in alchemy. Now alchemy, when we come to the esoteric parts of alchemy, the magical mythical parts of alchemy, of course we find that they were they cannot be accepted within the paradigms of scientific or rational culture. But when we look at how the, the, the ingredients that they were talking about, the reactions between the ingredients that they are talking about, although the results that they are coming up with are basically limited within the scope of alchemy that is transmutation of baser metal into gold or making an elixir which makes men immortal. But the ingredients that are being used and the reactions between the ingredients and the description of the output that has been taken from the workroom of the metallurgist, that has been taken from the workroom of the pharmacists. So, here we find that there was a gradual development in technology, but it was slowly getting dissociated from the actual theoretical disciplines of science, which were given a sanctity as formal knowledge. Now, Ayurveda, mathematics, astronomy were being taught as disciplines to the students in early medieval period, whereas the actual day-to-day -day knowledge which an artisan, a metallurgist had, a blacksmith had, a coppersmith had or a pharmacist had, that did not get transmitted into the classrooms.